Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to divide um, these two polynomials using long division. Um, typically I use long division if there is a number in front of x, so if the leading coefficient is not 1, um, or else if you are dividing by like a trinomial or something, if you have anything other than a binomial, then you have to use long division. So with this, basically when you're dividing using long division, you set it up like you used to set up division in elementary school, but in this case we would put the 2x minus 6 on the outside of our divide. Um, of our division symbol, and then underneath we would put the 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 28x plus 3. Before doing that, you do want to make sure that your exponents go down in descending order and that you're not missing any. So since this goes down 3, 2, 1, and then there's really 0 variables here, um, we don't have to add any zeros. If you were, if it went from like degree 4 to degree 2, then I would have to put a 0x cubed in between. So make sure that you always check to see um, that it goes down in order of descending exponents, and then I would just put those values into here. So I would put the 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 28x plus 3. And like I said, if you were missing any terms, like if it went 4, 2, 1, 0, then you would have to put it in a 0 um, for any missing degrees. So now what we're always going to do is we're going to take this value here. We're going to just focus on the 2x only and then the first term here. So we're only going to fo focus on this. We're going to ignore the negative 6 and everything else. So I'm just going to figure out what would I have to multiply 2x by to get 2x cubed? Well, I, to get 2, I would just multiply by 1. I have 1x, I need 3, so I'm going to multiply by x squared um, to get 2x cubed. So if I do x squared times 2x squared, I get 2x cubed. Don't forget, what we're really doing is we're taking this value here, this x squared, and we're distributing it into this binomial. So I have to do x squared times 2x, which gives me 2x cubed, x squared times negative 6, which gives me negative 6x squared. So all I did to get this part right here was distribute this term x squared into the 2x minus 6. This is why you have to put in the zeros because you do have to line up like terms. If I were missing a term and I didn't do this, I would have like a squared and a linear term. You can't simplify that. So that's why you have to put in any zeros for anything that is missing so that you have like terms. So if you remember from um, elementary school, after you multiplied, you always subtract. So what we're going to do here is we're going to subtract. So basically what happens is we change the signs of both. We always want this first term to cancel out so that it's no longer there. The second term, because I have 4x squared plus 6x squared, I end up with 10x squared. And then we just drop down the next term like we normally would in a division problem from elementary school. So now what we're doing is, again, we are only focusing on the first term here. What would I multiply 2x by to get this first term here? So um, with this, I would look at the 2x and the 10x squared and I would figure out what do I have to multiply 2 by to get 10. So I know that I would have to multiply it by 5 because 5 times 2 would give me the 10. I have 1x, I want 2x's so I have to multiply by 5x. So if I multiply this out it gives me 10x squared. Don't forget I'm really distributing this in so I really have 5x times negative 6 which gives me negative 30x. And then again we are going to subtract. So when we subtract this, I would change the signs of both. And this term would can sorry, this term would cancel out and this would leave me with 2x. And then I have to bring down the last term. So I have plus 3. And again, we just focus on the first term here. So what would I multiply 2x by to get 2x? That would be 1. So I would distribute 1 in and I would be left with 2x minus 6. Again, we are going to subtract. So if I change the signs, this gives me a 9, so this tells me that I have a remainder of 9. So in some situations, in some textbooks, this is a completely acceptable way of writing your answer. If it asks you for the quotient, um, the quotient is this part right here. So this would be my quotient. And this part would be the remainder, so if you had to fill it in that way, um, sometimes you are required to write it in terms of what you divided by with a fraction for the remainder. So another acceptable format of writing this answer would be 2x squared plus 5x plus 1 
plus 9 over 2x minus 6. So we just write the remainder as um, a rational expression. And so you can either write it this way or you can write it as a remainder of 9. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.